Okay, so here we have a, uh, a 3D printed model of an enzyme. This happens to be the monomer of an enzyme from HIV uh, called HIV protease. And here we have another model that was uh, printed on our printers uh, of a drug molecule that uh, actually inhibits uh, this particular enzyme. What we've uh, developed in our lab is combining the, uh, the physical model with uh, computer calculations uh, by using augmented reality. So we use, uh, we track these markers that are placed on the different molecules and therefore we can actually track where they are in three-dimensional space. So as I move the uh, drug molecule in the vicinity of the enzyme, uh, I not only have the tactile uh, feedback of how it fits into the uh, enzyme active site, but because I'm tracking the uh, positions and locations, I can calculate the interactions between the protein and the drug molecule. I do this uh, with software that we've developed in our lab called Autodoc, which basically takes all of the atomic positions of the two interacting molecules and calculates the energetics between one and the other. Uh, the reason this is important is because uh, molecules uh, want to be in the most favorable energetic positions. So the lower the energy, uh, the, the more favorable, and therefore if you can find the lowest energy, that will predict how one molecule interacts with the other molecule.